Hey, what's going on guys? Brook Machine here today with some gameplay from the new map, Diversion. Diversion is part of the Getaway DLC that was released yesterday. I was live streaming this yesterday for a few hours, and I've got to say, I didn't really enjoy it that much. And the reason why is we got stuck in a spawn trap, so it wasn't necessarily the map's fault, it was our team, they just were not pushing in. And as you know, in Battlefield, if your team doesn't push in, you're not going to push up the map. And if you're running solo, good luck with that. You're going to find it really tricky. So I didn't really enjoy the map that much. But after a few games, I've actually come to like it. This was actually my second game. I was rolling with the 870. I got the lovely street camo on this thing. And right there, I pushed up straight to the middle. And there wasn't many teammates around, so... I got swamped by enemies and I had a really bad time, but this one, this section here, I went straight to the Bravo flag. Swamped by enemies again, but you know, I'm the better player here, so I'm going to take all these guys out with the 870. This guy thinks he can outplay me, but no, it's not, it's not going to happen. Not on this map, not in this mode, not in this flag, not today, not today. Now this map is pretty hectic. I titled this video Operation Locker 2.0 with good reason. It is not a remake, it's not an exact sequel, but it's got the certain kind of qualities that Operation Locker is known for. Let's just get this guy, look at him trying to run away and there's a guy head glitch in there. But anyway, back back to the topic at hand, yes, this, this map is, is pretty much Operation Locker 2.0 in that you're always going to be in close range engagements, there's very few long range engagements, uh, there's lots of verticality which Operation Locker had a little bit of but not too much and in this map it actually works really well. I was actually quite surprised how well it works and I actually just really enjoy it. Uh, there's a lot of games out there that try verticality and it often just really doesn't work and kind of ruins the gameplay. But for this one, they've done it right. It's not too much, and it's in the right places. Along the sides of the map, there's lots of catwalks you can run across, uh, lots of walkways, bridges and stuff. So you can get across the map and drop in, and you can use the zip lines to get all the way across the map in an instant, and it's really great. This middle section is pretty open, lots of different angles of attack. You see I get this guy and I have to look up to the stairs here. You're going to find lots of people camping around these stairs. I'm not entirely sure why, but they seem to love the stairs. This guy gets me with the F2000, damn it! But here's a cool thing. You know, Operation Locker has these uh, gates that you can shut, but this map has these massive blast doors. You close these, and your enemy is going to find it a tough time to take over the map. This stops the flow of your enemies from coming to the middle flag. And they'll have to go around to the left side and the right side of the map. So they're going to find it a tricky, very tricky, very tricky indeed. Uh, there's blast doors on either side so both teams can use them. There's lots of doors around the map that you can shut. And that can really help you. This is the enemy's spawn flag. I think that guy just spawned in behind me there but I heard him on the headset. So quick 180 straight in the face. But look at this, look how many angles there are, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. I mean, these guys, they're on top of the flag. I was underneath. They're contesting. Get a kill on this guy. Get a second guy. Try and get the third. Unfortunately, I missed, but we get a second shot, so it's all good. It's all good. I mean, look how many angles. It's crazy. Look, how I'm looking left and right and all over the place. It's, I actually really enjoy it. I think it's a nice change. You know, I... Like I said before, Operation Locker 2.0, you know, it's, it's an improvement on a kind of style of play. It's obviously not a sequel. I'm not, I'm not making that assumption. You know, that's what, not what I'm saying. I'm just saying it's, uh, it's kind of a sequel in some kind of way in terms of gameplay. Now up here you can see you can see the entire map. Now this spot is going to be pretty good for snipers. Not too good. Uh, definitely in here you can see all the way across the map. So it might be beneficial but again because of all these pillars in the middle of the map, it, the snipers aren't going to dominate too much. So that's a good thing. Look at this zip line here. <laughs> that guy, I'm not sure why he needed a zip line there, but fair play, fair play. 
Watch this. I open the door, get shot in the back, go around the stairs, go to kill the guy. He drops down, and bam, no hit detection. Cheers, Visceral. What is going on there? Oh, I was so annoyed. Honestly, I was so annoyed. I was like, no. Please, no. Come on. That is so frustrating when that happens. But my connection was actually pretty good in this game. That net graph on the side, that's a new option. You can enable that and see what kind of connection you've got. So, my ping is pretty much 20 maximum, so that's really good. Yeah, I'm gonna get like pretty much instant hit detection there. That's perfect, just perfect. Really good for a battlefield game. You know, I've got to say, you know, I think, I think they did some changes a couple of months ago because I, I don't know. About three or four months ago, the the lowest ping that I would see in European servers was um, on console anyway was like 50 or 60. On PC, I could get much lower, but suddenly now I can get into 20 ping servers easy on both Hardline and Battlefield 4. So, I don't know, maybe they've changed their server code or just introduced more local servers uh, in Europe. I don't know. Uh, but it definitely feels better. This middle section here above us is actually a little chute that you can drop into. It's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. This section is really hectic. Doesn't look it here, but when a lot of people come running in through those doors, yeah, you're gonna have a tough time. See that guy, but I know there's a guy coming around the corner. Teammate's got him anyway. There he is. I could hear him. Do a little fakey there, come back around. Very nice, very nice. Do a little crouch bounce shot on that guy. Fortunately, we got taken out there, I think. So these tunnels here, nearly get killed by that door, you don't want to get squashed by that. Those tunnels there are pretty hectic. You're going to see a lot of people there, and it's right next to the enemy's spawn. Just looking for guys here, see if there's anyone around. This guy spawns in on his little beacon thingy here. But you're not going to get me, it's not going to happen. <laughs> it's not going to happen. See lots of outplayed moments on this map. It's very close quarters, so you, you've got to like, you know, do a little bit of thinking, you know, here. Kill this guy, I think there's one on the left, so I'll go running in, jump over behind this barrier, and come back around. Yeah, this guy, you know, those kind of thinking, you're gonna have to do that a lot. You know, if you rely on this map purely on connection or aim, you're probably not gonna do too well. You've gotta outsmart your enemies, don't run straight into their line of sight. This section, a lot of people like to camp below. Fast forward here, just there we go. Yeah, underneath there's a guy in here shooting explosives. I drop down, he's looking up. There we go. <laughs> yeah, you gotta watch out for spawn beacons down here as well, especially in that corner. There's some nice spots where you can hide them in, and there's lots of uh, background noise going on here, so they can be quite tricky to hear if you're wearing a headset. hope in Battlefield 5 they have some maps like this. I don't mean too close quarters. It doesn't have to be super close like this is. You know, we don't necessarily need a real operation like a 2.0. You know, something like this is fine. It's it's uh, It has the qualities of Operation Locker, but it doesn't have the weaknesses. I think Operation Locker has too many weaknesses, like you get stuck in spawn traps all the time, um, if you have too many players on it, it just becomes, you can't move, it just becomes a silly map to play. I think this map, you know, takes the best qualities and makes something new that's fresh and enjoyable to play. A little hectic at times maybe, but it's enjoyable. It can be slow paced, it can be fast paced. There's a nice mix, and sometimes like this you get caught out by two players. So teamwork really, you know, it's, you really need teamwork on this. Whereas a map like Operation Lock of the original, you know, sometimes it's luck. You know, you need a lot of luck just to even win sometimes on that map. These guys up here, throwing grenades. You can see a lot of people staying up there. You gotta get rid of them. I couldn't get a shot on the bald eagle. The beagle, I like to call it. So, throw a couple of frag grenades up there and take them out. I'm coming to the end of the game here. Picked up the RPG. It is a pickup in this game. It's not a weapon you can have. I noticed this bridge, 
been taken out. So I'll go for the next one, and the game ends. So maybe next time we'll find out if you can actually destroy them with the RPGs. That's it for me today, guys. I'm going to upload a review of the Getaway DLC, an overview of some kind of it. But I didn't want to upload something where I don't really have full knowledge of the DLC yet, you know? I'm not a big fan of these reviewers that post videos, like, straight away, when they haven't really taken the time to really see what the DLC is all about. So, I'll upload that soon, and more gameplay to come on Battlefield Hardline, BF4, and a little bit of BF3. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.